In this video, I want to talk about why everyone needs a 72 hour black and white photography challenge once in a while. So I decided to take an older camera with a simple lens and use it for 72 hours to only shoot black and white, something I never do, and to only shoot JPEGs and not RAW files, something I also never do. I decided to do this for 72 hours and then pick out my 10 favorite photos that was the result of that. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why I did it and why I think you might want to try it and also my experience. Pretty often towards the end of the winter, I get a bit bored with photography. I kind of lose the passion and uh, sometimes it can go weeks, if not months, uh, since I last truly felt the joy of photography, the joy of taking photos that I was happy with. And it can be a bit tricky to get out of this rut. But my best trick, or at least one of my best tricks to get out of this, is to give myself a challenge. And the type of challenge I like to give myself is something I mostly do not do, and with very tight and narrow rules for what I'm allowed to do. Because that makes everything seem simpler and more approachable. So I decided to give myself the challenge to use only this camera, the Sony a6000, uh, an older small and lightweight camera that I really really love and this quirky lens the 7 Artisans uh, 35mm f1.2 very compact cheap and fun little lens very flawed optically but still lots of fun especially if you're only doing like portraits and stuff the reason I went for black and white is that I usually don't like black and white. I love working with colors. Colors is very important to me. So if I force myself to do something I'm not used to, that will force my creativity to awaken. I will be forced to think in new ways. Uh, I will not be able to use the old tricks that I usually use to, to get good photos. I, I, I'm forcing myself to think and to be creative. And this is what I think rekindles uh, the passion for photography. And something I found in general that can rekindle your passion for photography is newness. Trying something new. And what most of us do uh, is we instinctively try to go into gear acquisition syndrome, gas. We try to buy a new lens or a new camera and so on. And I'm of course very guilty of this myself. It happens to me a lot as well. But you can get the same nice rekindled passion for photography by doing something new in, in your methodology, in what you're shooting or how you're shooting. So you don't need to go spend a lot of money on new equipment. Use some old equipment instead and give yourself a new framing on how you're doing photography. If you're doing black and white normally, do color. If you're doing color normally, do black and white. If you're doing landscapes, then do portraits or macro. If you're doing macro, then do portraits. And why did I force myself to shoot only JPEGs? Well, then I am also forcing myself to be more in the moment. I cannot trust that I can tweak the image afterwards to get correct exposure. I have to think about the exposure already in the camera. I have to expose correctly, otherwise I might lose the photo because it's only a JPEG. And I chose a time limit of 72 hours because that is enough time to, to give me a chance to do some photography, but it's not too long. It is a tight, deadline for when I'm supposed to sit down, go through the images and pick my tame favorites. And then it becomes this uh, cute little project that is easy to feel like you're in control of. It has a narrow frame for what I'm allowed to do and that makes it feel simple and approachable and it makes me feel pumped to try it. And for me this worked. Now I feel a new passion for photography, especially the kind of everyday photography where I photograph my family and uh, what we're doing and so on. Uh, and now I feel like I want to go on and do more on black and white photography because I feel like uh, there is so much you can learn from shooting black and white. Uh, when all the colors go away, you are left with only trying to focus on a good composition, a good story, uh, a good use of contrast and those are some of the core building blocks of good photography no matter if you're doing black and white or color so i think it's a good practice to shoot black and white now and then so let's look at my 10 favorite photos of all the ones that i shot over the weekend okay this is the first photo it's kind of meh i'm not super happy about it i think it's okay uh, 
This one I like. Uh, this is my daughter's legs and feet. Uh, what I like about this is the very punchy contrast. Uh, this contrast reminds me of my favorite all time black and white photographer, Alan Scheller. He is really, really good at bringing up these strong punchy contrasts that look very pleasing to the eye. And uh, I'm, a, I'm in no way comparing this photo to his work, but uh, at least the contrast, I think uh, it's similar. <laughs> this is a shot of a aloe vera plant that we have our, in our kitchen. I think it looked pretty cool uh, when I used shallow depth of field and black and white. Um, yeah, this portrait of my son, I think it's okay. It's not great, but it uh, at least, yeah, it, it almost works. What I like about this portrait is the very narrow and shallow depth of field and the only thing that's in focus is the eye and I also like how I caught my son in, in a perfect profile. I think it creates an interesting shape to the photo. And this is something I experience a lot of when I'm doing black and white photography that it's so much fun to try to find shapes, uh, graphic shapes and, and try to utilize them in making a photo. This photo of my children is one of my favorites from this weekend, uh, one of my top three, I think. And I think it's because it has layers, my daughter in the foreground, my son in the background. I would have preferred to have maybe a slightly deeper depth of field so you could see more of my son here, uh, but the light wasn't that good. So this is what I, I got. Uh, what I like about it is how uh, the shape of how my daughter is sitting kind of uh, goes along with the frame of the photo and it makes for a, for a pleasing um, uh, composition, I think. Yeah, this one is nothing special. I just want to document when my wife and my son was uh, doing some baking. This one, I think, might be my favorite of these 10. And uh, immediately when I took the photo and looked at it in the viewfinder, I was like, I really like this photo, but I didn't immediately understand why. But now when I look at it afterwards, I think I do understand why. Uh, I think it's all about the leading lines uh, coming in from the sides towards his face and his body, uh, which is always a good thing. And also how his smile, uh, which looks genuine and, and nice, uh, also, his whole face contrasts very strongly with the background, with the darker parts of his, his clothes and so on. And I think that makes this photo work. Uh, the subject stands out a lot. His face is a subject and we have leading lines leading into it. And also, uh, we have a good histogram here. I'm using the whole grayscale from very dark colors to very uh, almost white colors in his face and all of them are used. and. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this photo. This one is nothing special. Uh, well, I, what, I, what made me pick this one was the very interesting bokeh that the 7 Artisans 35mm f1.2 produces. It looks kind of weird almost. Uh, it looks interesting. And this is the last photo. Again, nothing special, it's not great, uh, but I wanted to document when we were out uh, on a small um, excursion. And yeah, those were my 10 photos. Uh, I only think like two or three of them I was really, really happy with. The rest I kind of picked because I had given myself the challenge to pick 10 photos. Uh, but yeah, the whole challenge, uh, it was a lot of fun. It rekindled my passion for photography and now I want to do more black and white and I want to do more everyday photography in general, which was my goal with this small little challenge and exercise. So yeah, if you find yourself in a rut and wanted to get going again with photography, I think this is a great idea. Thank you for watching this video. See you very soon again in a new one. Bye bye.